What's good, YouTube? It's your favorite old head, old head Uncle Twin, Jerry's Train. We back with another video. And today, hey, I'm finna show y'all boys, man, how to get your badges max fast. The best badge method for my shooting centers, for my shooting glass locks, for my bigs. In general, this is the best badge method, best shooting badge method on the game. But before we get into the badge method video, man, if you're new to the channel, Drop a sub on the channel right now. Hit that sub button. Turn them notice on so you don't miss no consistent 2K content. And if you're watching the video, drop a like for your boy right now. But let's get into it. First thing, the best team for shooting centers to go to is the Clippers. The Clippers have, they really don't have a dominant, uh, dominant big man. And they also have the best like perimeter defenders. Now, as far as your defense, on defense, you want to run full court press or full court trap on defense because they're going to have Patrick Beverly sweating the ball. They're going to have Paul George. So you're picking them up half court. That's going to allow a bunch of turnovers. You see these boys already cold. The whole team is cold because we sweating on defense the entire time. So you got to get your teammate chemistry up. In order to be able to, you know, call plays, I think it took me only about three games to do that. And hey, and as far as your offense in the beginning, all you're doing is picking rolls, picking slips, and you want to play for a team takeover. So you're not going to use your individual takeover. You're going for team takeover. So take easy buckets, take your slips, take your dunks. You know, play good defense, get your blocks and your rebounds. And of course, with being a green, red, just playing good defense is going to move the takeover bar in general. So you just want to, you know, get out, run the break. And like I said, you're playing for team takeover. So make sure your teammate chemistry is high so you can get into team takeover, you know, team takeover fast. But four court press, that's the defense. Look at Patrick Beverly, sweating them, sweating them on defense because, you know, we want the ball. Getting the rebound, you see the takeover bar is moving and we out on the break. So in the beginning, we're not really taking any shots. Hey! So what that's doing, you're getting your finishing badges, you're getting your defensive badges easily. Just running the break. Now I'm going to show y'all um, as far as your finishing badges, because you're going to get those, you're going to get your finishing badges pretty fast. But if you made your build the way I made my build, I'm going to show you right now the best finishing badge set up to run this to run this method effectively so your pick and roller of course you want to run your contact finisher you know absorb some of that contact and also you want to run put back balls so you can catch them boys and put it back now if you switch it up a little bit you can put it on instead of put back balls showtime that's going to allow you to get into team takeover faster if you run showtime now once you get into team takeover that's when you really go crazy as far as getting your shooting badges because once you get in the team takeover of course you can control the whole team so you can switch to the guards and you can control the whole team and that's when really the game plan goes into play so we're gonna continue to play good defense we're getting the ball back he shot that he made that good shot good shot but from now on this is where this is where we're going crazy so give the ball to your guard and you're gonna call for the pick but you're gonna do a pick and pop so you pop you get your ball you're gonna be able to shoot everything you have your takeover of course we got sharp take so we're gonna pick we're not gonna do pick and roll in team takeover we're gonna do pick and pop pick and fade and every time you shoot the ball with this sharp takeover it should be green you see lou will has a playmaking takeover too so he's gonna give you a boost and you hit your icon and you just throw it up verde every time. It's going to be green every single time. And you run that the whole time you have team takeover. Of course, if you get team takeover, your takeover lasts for about three minutes. Rather than your individual takeover, it only lasts for about a minute. So that's why we're playing for team takeover. Because you're going to be able to shoot more effectively at a higher clip for a longer time with team takeover. And I showed y'all the method of how to get into team takeover faster so the whole for the rest for the rest of the takeover you playing good defense we sweating them and we doing the same thing get it to your guard call for the screen make sure you put them for him to not to roll but to pop or to fade and verde every time it's gonna be cash 
every single time. Now this is the method. So that's why I say it's good to play for the Clippers because the Clippers got good defense. Look at Kawhi. Kawhi is guarding ball. He's sweating the ball handler. This is going to get you a lot of like, you can bait blocks, bait steals, you know. Oh, Lordy, that boy just baptized us. Oh, my. Okay, I see you. I see you. But you're going to be able to play good defense on this team, which is going to get you more defensive badges from being able to get rebounds, get blocks, steals. Verde, you're shooting over everything. Team takeover, cheese. This is how you're going to get your badges, your badges fast. Look at our defense. Hold up, we there. Uh-uh, you just shot that on our team? Give me that. Four. So we finna be grabbing all of the boards. Oh, and I did mention also, we are playing on pro difficulty too. So we not sweating, sweating. It's not on Hall of Fame. This is on pro difficulty. Like I said, the Clippers are the best team to use for this method. And you see, when we not in takeover, hey, the pick and roll, the pick and slip, that's what we're doing to move that bar faster. We're just playing good defense, good defense, setting the screen, rolling, and one, consistent finisher. Now, free throws also. Make sure you knock down your free throws, Verde, or not Verde, but make sure they go in. Knocking down your free throws is gonna move the ball also. So that's how you're gonna get also your shooting badges while you're still, you know, only out here finishing. So this is, this is, this is the game plan. This is the game plan in career. Get in takeover, pick and roll, pick and slip. After you get in takeover, just fire it up. Fire it up for the rest of the time. Now you should be able to get in takeover, team takeover multiple times a game. Um, I'm not even playing the full amount of minutes now and I can still get into, I think we're only playing like the 20 minute games. I can still get into team takeover about three to four times a game. Three to four times a game, I can get in team takeover, and the takeover lasts for like three minutes. So, like I said, the certain badges help you get in the team takeover. The showtime, also the rim protector, if you're running that badge high, that makes you get into team takeover faster, but that's what you wanna do on the offensive end. Now, after we wrap up this game, I'm finna show y'all another another secret tip that's gonna help you get your shooting badges super fast. We pulling that shoot shooting everything, shooting everything at takeover. Like it's a GG. It's so cheesy. This is like stop the jokes, stop the jokes. That's what that sharp takeover do. We we shoot we shooting everything, shoot everything. That's gonna help you get your shooting badges. So doing this method, you should be able to get. A finishing badge like every game or two games max you should be able to get a shooting badge every game two games max a defensive badge every game a two games max now after you've done about 10 games when you go to your team practice you got to do your team practices you go to your team practice it's gonna give you the option where now they're gonna allow you to choose what drills you want to do this is a major key because once you can choose what drills you do in your team practice all you need to choose is the free throw golf. Free throw golf is easy, and as you see over there, an NBA legend is coming in. Now, when the NBA legend comes in and you're hitting your free throws, you, it's gonna say you impress the NBA legend, and that's gonna give you times three to what you would normally get on the drill. So it's gonna give you 2250 for the free throw drill golf instead of the 700 or 750 that you would normally get. And you do this drill for all of your drills. All four drills do the free throw golf. Because this is going to give you that extra bonus. After every game, you get four of these. And if you're doing it every time, that's going to move your shooting, your shooting badge, you know, upgrade. You're going to be able to get them super fast. Hey, so that's the cheese. The juice is loose. Man, I hope this helped y'all boys. If it did, man, like the video, share the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man, but you already know who it is, your favorite old head, old head Uncle Jerry's twin, hey, tell them folks to stop the jokes, man, y'all boys go crazy, hey, shout out to everybody that's been tuning in to the live streams on Twitch too, man, we've been going crazy on the Twitch, hey, stop the jokes, let's get it, badges maxed on the way, and then we finna go crazy, stop playing with them.